can do it. I don't know if that's exactly how she sounds, but I'm willing to take a bit. That, anyway, hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm here to show you a really awesome tutorial on how to make this quick Rosie the Riveter outfit. Yeah, you see, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. Anywho, you'll need very few items. Just a red rag, which I cut this off of a red t-shirt that I never use anymore. And that probably cost me all of four cents. Some red lipstick, some eyeliner as well. Black eyeliner is probably best to make your eyes pop the best. And yeah, you'll need a little front do, which I'm going to show you in 2.5 seconds. So I had my hair braided up and I had everything braided to the front. You can do this with natural hair, you can do this with braided hair, you can do this with if you're white, black, it doesn't matter what race you are, you can braid your hair to the front. Unless, of course, you have really short hair, then it might be a little bit more difficult. I had some extensions, so voila, I, I can do this, and so can you. Anyway, I put my glasses on because I'm blind as heck. So let's get started, shall we? Let's do this. So the best way to, one thing you should do is go ahead and check the length of your hair. If the length is good, then you can proceed. If not, just maybe just we'll work, we'll work with you. So just go ahead and it's easier to do this bending over. I realize how that sounds, but I swear it's, it's, it's just, it's better. It's easier to catch the hair. So, so you want to braid one over the other and keep that pattern there's one piece and it doesn't have to be perfect it's kind of messy as you can see but it's creating a pattern over the other I'm trying here I'm doing my best and you just keep on doing that pattern until you get towards the front and once you get towards the front what you're gonna do is just keep on braiding and braiding and braiding until you make it kind of look like a unicorn so I'm not quite there yet. You can, you can see lots of lots of individual pieces, but there you go. Bam. Obviously, it's not going to take that fast, but it, it, it will really not take that much time. So braid it all the way to the tips and go ahead and be a unicorn for 5.2 seconds. And then after that, go ahead and grab your bobby pins. Bobby pins. Yay. They're so great. And you can pull that to the side. And what you want to do is create like a little side... Uh, look that will allow you to um, kind of look like a shortcut and actually honestly probably work out if you had shorter hair but you know if you have long you know braids uh, you can go ahead and do it that way make sure to pull the braid out and stretch it out because you kind of gotta give it like a full bang look so that's why I did that so go ahead and grab your bobby pin and don't let it fall which I did Great. And pin that puppy in and go about your way. As you can see, there's a little piece sticking out. You want to just go ahead and grab it and and pull all the loose ends together with bobby pins. It's, it's very self-explanatory at this point. Go ahead and get your $2 rag or scarf or whatever you need to use at this point and pull it out, fan it out so you can have that nice 1947 <sighs> Rosie the Riveter look. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I had a little malfunction. Oh, gosh. So what I'm going to do is grab more bobby pins because bobby pins save the world. Thank you, bobby pins. Go ahead, bobby pins. And we're pinning. Pinning some more. Pinning a little bit more. Yeah, there's another extra piece. We're going to pin some more. Pinning. Winning. Okay. So yeah, so it's a pretty simple look, and honestly, this is not just for Halloween. You could probably, ouch, okay, you could probably, you know, rock this, you know, any day, like on the weekend, going out, and we're done. Take off those glasses, get your sign, make sure it's in the right direction, and flex those muscles, and you are Rosie the Riveter. Yeah, we'll switch out.